Hi again, this is John, a member of WorldBuild. In CityBuild, we can generate roads for multiple purposes, such as building bridges to plotting roads for building generation. For this tutorial, let's make our sidewalks feel more lived in by populating them with pedestrians. We can do this by utilizing zone graph lane profiles and tags, the CityBuild traffic tab, and with a mass spawner actor so that we can spawn characters right out of the box in CityBuild and with your very own characters as well. Similarly to our written documentation, we will break up this tutorial into four steps as seen on the screen here. For step one, we'll need to set up three important prerequisites before we get into spawning our characters. First, setting up the characters simply requires you to get your models and animations ready for blueprint form. For those wanting to follow along, we have already included characters set up with the sample kit. For those who want to use your own custom models and animations, stick around for part four. Secondly, let's make our actors walkable by first drawing out a road. We'll head over to our city builder mode, add the modern city and sample base kit extension, click on the roads tab, then select the roads tab. Let's use two lane A sidewalk since it conveniently generates a sidewalk for us and draw a road. Let's click back to our select mode and click on the sidewalks we just connected. Under the details panel, type in walkable and select in this checkbox so we can guarantee our actors, in this case it's a sidewalk, will let us have pedestrians walk on it. Lastly for prerequisites, we need to configure our zone graph settings. Follow me to the project settings and type in zone graph. Now we can create two array elements under lane profiles and name it something like city build sample A. And let's rename that first tag to city build foot traffic. We created two arrays so we can get foot traffic back and forth on our sidewalks. And to do this, we will set our directions to forward and backward on each directions tab. Now let's make certain to untag the default and tag it with the city build foot traffic tag we created earlier for both directions. Now in step two, let's set up our zone shapes through CityBuild's traffic tab and also look into what options CityBuild gives us to spawn walkable pedestrian pathways on sidewalks. First, we'll scroll over to our traffic tab, set the lane profile to CityBuild sample A and the tags to CityBuild foot traffic. Before we press set up zone shapes, let's talk about two options we have. If we select our walkable actor and hit the Setup Zone Shapes button, the walkable settings will automatically set to true and zone shapes are generated. If you haven't selected any actors, only the places we set walkable to earlier will have their zone shapes generated. Please keep this in mind for your own experimentation. Now that we've clicked it, you can see zone shapes and a mass spawner appear in the outliner. Let's click on the mass spawner. So now that we're in step three, we'll need to configure the mass spawn actor for it to spawn our characters. Let's set a count of 100 to get 100 characters to spawn and leave the entity config to modern base underscore mass entity config to spawn characters from our modern base kit. Let's add an array element to spawn data generators. Open the index and set zone graph spawn points generator under generator instance. Let's open generator instance, zone graph generator config, tag filter, and now we can set our city build foot traffic tab under any tags. Once we hit play, we can now see our pedestrians walking forwards and backwards across both sidewalks without interacting in the road. But as you can see, not enough have spawned. So let's adjust the spawn count from 100 to 600. Here's some results. Lastly, in step four, for those that want to spawn their own characters, we'll need to import them and more importantly, their walking animation to Unreal first and make certain to click on Import Animations. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll use Mixamo. I personally picked Remy from their Characters tab and found a walking animation to use. While we can set all parameters for a new dataset, let's duplicate the modern base underscore mass entity config and use the setup CityBuild provides us from its base configurations. Click on the Browse to Content Browser button and right click to duplicate the mass entity config and give it a name. When opening it up, 
we see multiple indexes, and if we open the Crowd Visualization Index, the high and low res template actors can be replaced with any of your own character blueprints. For this tutorial, we will continue to utilize the third person character blueprint. Now let's exit the Blueprints folder and scroll to third person, Blueprints, and duplicate the third person character, and let's give it a name. With this character, we can open it, scroll down to Skeletal Mesh Asset, and replace it with our own. Now we'll scroll up to Animation Mode and switch it to Use Animation Asset. And let's replace it with our own animation sequence. Let's locate the Modern Base Entity config, and we can now drag our duplicated blueprint into the aforementioned High and Low Res Template Actor. We can now close out both of these tabs, and let's go ahead and replace the Entity config with our own custom one, and hit Play. Another issue occurs where Remy is just too big for the scene. So let's hit escape and go back to our character blueprint. We'll first need to click on Remy. Press R on your keyboard to switch to scaling. And let's click hold and drag the mouse down on the middle part of the scaling widget until Remy fits into the capsule. Hit compile and let's hit play. Thank you for watching our tutorial on pedestrian AI. As always, we wish you the best on your deving journey and stay tuned for more tutorials. Goodbye.